there are so many things in government that has to be corrected. Mali si Senator Risa sabi niya, you cannot change the institution. In, hindi ang ibig kong sabihin, you do not change anything there. Pero yung pagpababoy ng mga witnesses. I don't mind the civilians. Yung sabi niya, parmali, wala akong pakialam dyan. Sabi ko, ano na Tagalog sa tumot you crumple them. Pero wag yung mga official ko na sigaw-sigawan mo. Tapos minsan paupuin mo si Galvez. Alam mo na ang mga vaccines are, be, are being unloaded in the airport and he has to move fast. Kung hindi, minsan hindi siya nakakapunta. Pati si Duque. Ibang istorya yan. Kaya ako nagalit. Hindi dahil pinoprotektahan ko. Sabi ko, patayin na ninyo kung gusto ninyo yung mga parmali na yan. But dito sa transaksyon na ano, sabi ng COA legal, there was no overprice. You might want to separate the other issues about non-payment non of uh, taxes. That is not the at the part of the inquiry dito sa yung corruption na wala naman ang military pati police sinabi ko sa kanila kasi talagang pupunta yan sila doon tinatawag at uh, kung magsalita ito silang Gordon parang ila drillon kasi na bright sila na pinuputol hindi talaga nakakasagot. Walang sagot. So, walang totoong lalabas. If that is the way how you conduct your inquiry or investigation and your behavior is you want to talk kaya ni ayaw magpatalo yan si Gordon eh. You want to monopolize the, the time with your uh, Maybe smartness, marunong ka, and you are articulate. Eh, okay lang yan, pero yung bastosin mo. Kasi ulitari pati pulis na sabi ko, pag sinigawan kayo, tumindig kayo. Ang sabi sa amin ni Presidente na magpunta kami doon sa inyo, and to tell the truth and nothing but the truth and we will do it but please do not shout at us because pariho lang tayo nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno ganon ang dapat I, 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 it's not an oh, 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 authorize you to stand up I'm just suggesting and if you are uh, cited in contempt, ako ang, ako ang pupulot sa inyo doon sa ano. Wala akong dalhin. Dinayin ang magdala ako basket tenedor. But I will do it. That's why uh, there's the memorandum. It's now pending in the Supreme Court. Uh, whether or not I can bar Ako hindi naman sa pagbaka. Si Laduque, nakatestify na kasi. Inaalaw ko. Pero yung iba, paupuin mo ng ilang araw, tapos walang nangyari. Binabastos mo yung tao. You know, you know uh, when you do that, you issue several summons, and you can only dispose one subject matter in for one witness hindi uh, maganda kaya ako tatakbo kaya ako pag mag ano sabihin ko sila na you know there are rules in in the congress 
but there are fundamental laws. Kaya ng taga-guberno. Sabi, hindi nila pasagutin. Then at the end, yung theory nila, yun ang masunod. Kaya kailangan ko, you know, I'm not complaining, but kaya kailangan ko si Roque. Sana si Art, uh, but gusto kong tumakbo, ayaw eh. Ayaw ata ng asawa. But uh, talagang worker si Art. Look at his performance. And he can really deliver. Matapos yan, sabi ko, tapusin mo na pag-alis ko. Kasi nung mayor ako, lahat ng projects, on, it, on, it, on that uh, day, pag-alis ko, tapos lahat ng projects. Yan rin ang gusto ko. Pinahabol nila yung panahon. Masaya ako na nakita ko yung progress ng development infrastructure dito sa inyong lugar. It is my pleasure to be with you on the inauguration of the various seaport development projects here in Mindanao. We welcome this occasion with much optimism because of this Public infrastructures will improve mobility and productivity and help boost economic growth in the area. I commend the Department of Transportation as well as the Philippine Ports Authority for their work on the eight seaports to be inaugurated today. These accomplishments were made under our Build, Build, Build program. We also look forward to the completion of five ongoing improvement facilities in the area. The island of Mindanao plays a significant role in boosting the country's interconnectivity as it serves as a gateway for passengers and goods coming from Luzon to Visayas and Mindanao and vice versa. Apart from the seamless connect our regions, these sports would also boost the tourism industry on the island of Mindanao and nearby. Indeed, these projects affirm the government's strong commitment to improve the lives of Filipinos by pursuing vital structures projects, even amidst the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Rest assured that this administration is focused on addressing the current and future needs of the country through all of its policies and programs. As we put the welfare of our Kababayans on the top of our priorities, we can certainly find ways to uplift their lives especially those who are in need the most. I therefore ask my fellow workers in government, as well as the private sector partner, to continue working together to achieve inclusive progress, allowing much needed public services to become more responsive and accessible. I also hope and pray that the outcome of our joint efforts will inspire our citizens to participate more actively in the shared task of nation building. Salamat at mabuhay kayong lahat.